said in the Bible, Noah's Ark came to rest on the mountains of Ararat. Via this divine salvation, Noah and his descendants turned a new page in the history of mankind. For thousands of years, this place of refuge, called the land of Ararat by the ancient Hebrew people, remained closed to exploration. Centuries later, people realized that there was indeed a powerful country with a rich culture in the north of Mesopotamia, in the times of ancient Egypt and Babylon, a country called Urartu by the Assyrians. Urartu was ruled by great kings who rose and fell while the country lived on. Numerous cuneiform writings tell us about the construction of fortresses and temples, the cultivation of vineyards and gardens, and about highly efficient irrigation canals that have no analogues in world history. The Assyrian king Sargon II was stunned by the objects of art discovered in Urartu. The Urartians waged wars with the powerful Assyrian Empire, conquering new lands and expanding their territory. In the first millennium BC, Urartu was among the greatest empires of the ancient world. 